Hello everyone, and today on Geek News, we're going to be taking a look at Ghostbusters Afterlife Plasma Series Spangler Proton Pack in stock. So we're just kind of browsing around here on our Big Bad Toy Store website, and I noticed that the Proton Pack, the Spangler uh, Proton Pack from the Plasma Series Afterlife version is indeed in stock so let's just go ahead and take a look at some of these photos if you guys haven't seen any of the reviews yet i'm sure you guys probably have there's quite a few of them out there mega j retro did his unboxing of it uh ghostbusters news had done his so they, they got some really cool stuff out there if you guys haven't seen those videos yet but for today we're just going to be taking a look at some of these photos we're going to do a recap of it and we'll kind of let you guys know what the price is and all that fun stuff and what's included so right off we can see we've got the proton pack right in front of our face looks really good so right off the afterlife film pretty darn accurate if i must say it's pretty beautiful yeah uh, it's it's a proton pack that i would have loved to have had back in 1984 1985 i would have died for something like this um very very cool very realistic wiring and all that cool stuff it is going to, of course, do a light-up effect. You're going to have the light-up on the blue here on the left-hand side. It is going to do the cycle for the red lights. Uh, you're, you're definitely, it's going to do that accurately, so it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, of course, you, you're not going to have the wand, right? This is specifically just for the Proton Pack. Uh, it does come with a stand, though, and it does have some cool straps, so you are going to get the, uh, the olive drab, you know, army type of straps for it. Uh, and on the inside here, it looks pretty neat. So you can open her up, you get your cylinder in, in the inside, looks really cool. Very, I expect this to be very heavy. I'm not sure how heavy this actually is, but I know uh, from different interviews from like Bill Murray and stuff like that, that they were that they were saying stuff like the proton packs are actually pretty heavy if you wear them for quite a while. So I expect this one to be heavy, but I'm not sure the exact, the exact weight, I did not research it. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. So what, is included with this proton pack let's go ahead let's take a look so it is product features one uh one one scale made of plastic metal and other materials so they do have some plastic to try to make it a little bit lighter than a traditional actual proton pack uh from ghostbusters afterlife movie highly detailed features lights and sounds from the movie box contents you're going to get the proton pack replica pose marshmallow pack uh, that is those little three little mini marshmallow action figures. They got three alternate heads. Uh, Egon Spangler notebook pack, proton pack stand, and of course the Alice frame mounting hardware. So not to be confused with an actual Alice frame. You do have to spend money to go and get an Alice frame to mount it to. Uh, speaking of Alice frames, I was just kind of looking at them over randomly over at uh, you know flea bay or ebay if you will uh they do have the lc1 uh alice frame over there you can get different prices do your research if you're looking to get one uh you know if you're considering to invest in something like this it's something that's probably more for the cosplayer i would think they would invest in something like this uh, or somebody like me who's a nut bar who just has to have an Alice frame. I've got the Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, which is like, you know, $100 versus like 600 Canadian. So, you know, I went for that instead. But I don't have an Alice frame yet, so I am looking into getting one. I did see them drop on Amazon.ca. They were actually a lot cheaper than this one. This one's actually listed for $150. Uh, that's US, or no, sorry, that is actually Canadian, $149 Canadian. I actually found one cheaper than this that looks the exact same. So pretty cool. So from my research, it does indeed fit the LC1 Alice frame. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, let me see, where was I at? So yes, this is actually going to be $649.99. So that's the price on it, guys. It is pretty pricey. And once again, if you plan on getting uh be as accurate as you possibly can you're still gonna need to get the wand you're still gonna need to get the alice frame so like this overall uh cosplay outfit would probably be a thousand dollar investment for sure uh to complete your actual costume uh pretty cool stuff uh we do have some uh episodes of ghostbusters speaking of ghostbusters we got some of that coming up here for the month of halloween uh we are or for the month of october i should say uh, throughout October, I plan on doing mostly Ghostbusters themed stuff. Uh, we've got some Ghostbusters live unboxings. We've got two of them that we're going to have uh, for the month of October, so that'll be fun, so stay tuned for that. 
Uh, we're going to be doing some Ghostbusters artwork, time lapse arts for YouTube shorts, things like that. So we're gonna we're gonna do some celebrations for Ghostbusters because it's you know Ghostbusters is a really great franchise. Love it, love it, love it. Something like this I would just definitely would have killed for or would have died for as a, you know a little kid. Uh, 1984, 1985 would have been a fantastic uh, proton pack to have. But anyway, at least now you have the ability to get one, though they are once again pricey. Um, it doesn't say that there's any type of payment plans for it. It just says in stock, 649 So there you have it, guys. Just some updated news for the Proton Pack, and I just wanted to more or less get in the groove of just talking about Ghostbusters because we're getting into the month of Halloween just around the corner. So you guys let me know what you guys think of this Proton Pack. And yeah, so we'll see you guys on the next one. And what I'll do is I will link the I will link this in the description for you guys, just so that you guys can just go ahead and check it out if you if you wish to do so. Or you can certainly watch a lot of the YouTube video reviews that have been done on it. So there you go, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one, though. So everyone, you guys take care. Have a great weekend, and uh, until next time.